Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video we're going to be getting into dividing decimals with whole number divisors. And if you have your long division process down, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat, you'll be in good shape. The only difference is we need to know where to place the decimal in our answer. Okay? So let's jump into number one here, and I suggest writing these out with me. I think that will be more beneficial to you than just listening or watching. So two is our divisor, and as you notice, that's a whole number divisor, right? Um, like all four of these will be on your screen. And then we'll follow this up with decimal divisors, which takes an upper extra step, but we don't need to worry about that right now. And then our dividend is 57 and 6 tenths. So from now on, when you see a division problem, you need to ask yourself this question. Is my divisor whole? And your divisor is this outside number here. If it is a whole number, you bring your decimal straight up. Okay? That's where it will go in your answer. As simple as that. Now, as you go through the problem, you need to make sure you have everything lined up so the decimal ends up in the right place. And you won't have a problem with that if you write out neatly, keep everything nice and lined up. So now we just go through our process. How many groups of two are in five, or five divided by two? Well, two. Two times two is four. Subtract, you get one. Bring down my seven. 17 divided by two. How many groups of two in 17? 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract, we get 1. Bring down my 6. And then end up with 16 divided by 2, which is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract, you get 0. So our quotient or answer would be 28 and 8 tenths. So same process, just make sure you're placing the decimal in your answer. So let's go to number two here. And we have 923 and 5 tenths as our dividend and 5 as our divisor. I'm going to cut this off here. All right, well, is my divisor whole? Yes, it's a 5. So I bring my decimal straight up. And that's where it will go in my answer. So 9 divided by 5, 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract, I get 4. Bring down this 2. Got to think of my 5 facts here. How many groups of 5 can I pull out of 42? How close can I get? Well, 8. That gets me to 40. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract, I get 2. Bring down my 3. All right, 23 divided by 5. How many groups of 5 out of 23? 4. 4 times 5 is 20 running out of room here. You get three, bring down my five, and then wrap it up with 35 divided by five, which is seven. Seven times five, I'm gonna come over here. Seven times five is 35, so I get to 35 minus 35 is zero. So I am done, nothing else to bring down. Went over to my smallest place value, and I get a zero at the end. So 184 and 7 tenths. Now we have a double digit divisor, but it's still whole here. We have 3 and 84 hundredths divided by 12. Now this one, my answer is going to be less than one whole. And I know that right away because my dividend, 3 and 84 hundredths, I'm splitting between splitting into 12 groups. My groups are going to be smaller um, than a whole. Think, $3.84 divided between 12 people, everybody's going to get less than $1. So is my divisor whole? Yes. So I bring my decimal straight up. I cannot pull a 12 out of 3, so I can put a 0 here if I want. So I need to go over to the 38. How many groups of 12 out of 38? Well, 12 24, 36, 48, 4 is too many, so 3, and that gets me to 36. So 3 times 12 is 36. Subtract, I get 2, and then bring down this 4, 
and I get to 24 divided by 12, nice compatible numbers here, two groups of 12 out of 24, two times 12 is 24, you get zero. 32 hundredths, or that's going back to the situation before, I'm not sure why you would split $3.84 between 12 people, but if you do, everybody's getting 32 cents. All right, and let's go to number four here. 64 and 82 hundredths divided by seven. Is the divisor whole? Yes, so what do you do with the decimal? Hopefully you're thinking, bring it straight up. And then we start our problem. I cannot do a seven, a group of seven out of six, can't do six divided by seven and get a whole number, so I need to go to 64. So think of your sevens here. Well, I know seven times seven is 49, but I can get closer than that. Seven times eight is 56. Seven times nine, 63. Ah, that's as close as I can get. So a nine, make sure your nine goes above the 64, not above the six, not right here, above the 64. Nine times seven, 63. Subtract, you get one. Bring down your eight. All right, how many groups of seven out of 18? Two. Two times seven is 14. Subtract, I get four. Bring down my two. And hopefully you're noticing 42 and seven are compatible here. Seven's gonna hit 42. I can get a whole number here for how many groups of seven I can pull out of 42 and seven times six, six groups of seven. 42 divided by seven is six. So six times seven is 42. I subtract zero. So my answer would be nine and 26 hundredths. So that's dividing decimals with whole number divisors. Just the same process, but you gotta remember to ask yourself this question when you come across division problems from now on is my divisor whole? Now, in these four problems, it was yes for all four, but when we follow this up with decimal divisors, you're gonna have no, you're gonna have to say no to that question sometimes, so you need to know what to do. And that's what we'll do next. So I will see you over at the mastery check video where you will check to see if you have this down, and then we'll move on to decimal divisors. Thanks for watching.